This is an overview of the To get started, drag the title hero into your Elementor Builder. What this widget does, it's a layout for a hero section that has a title with a border, a text, and a call to action button. I'm going to take you over the steps and show you how you can customize this. So usually a hero section in our website is going to be full width. So I'm gonna click on the section and change the content width to full width and click on the column and inside of advanced i'm going to change the padding to zero by clicking the unlink button next part i'm going to go back into the widget by clicking on it and then you can edit your text so i'm going to write over here hello and in my subtitle i am a meet karen a ux designer Awesome, so I got everything set up and my button I'm going to write over here, view my projects. Awesome, you can also turn on or off each part over here and link the button of course. Let's jump into style and see how we can customize this. So over here, we have a background color by default and we can change this background color to whatever we want. The background color is actually pretty important because later on we can use this uh, with a blending options mode. So if we have also a color and a image, that's kind of important. So I'm just gonna select this color and we'll see that later on. Let's select an image over here. So let's go for some kind of image that look that's going to look awesome. Let's do maybe even this view over here. Let's click insert. Already looking pretty cool. Inside of position, I'm going to click center, center, just so the image is centered. And inside of size, I'm going to choose cover just so it doesn't repeat itself. So everything is looking pretty good. Down here in background blend mode, that's why it's important to choose a color. So if I change this to multiply, for example, you can see that the different blend modes are blending with the image itself. So it's kind of color and image together with a blend mode right over here. Inside of the hero overlay, we also have an overlay over here with a 50% opacity. If you don't want an overlay at all, you can just push this down to zero. Or if you want more overlay, you can push this up. To delete the overlay, you can also just close it and you can also overlay with an image. So it's kind of image overlaying an image. You can use this for dividers and stuff like that or patterns that you want to overlay. Really, really interesting. Inside of the hero section, we can choose how we want to align this and the height of our hero section. So right now, the height of the hero section is 100 VH, which means fit to screen from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, no matter what screen resolution you're inside. Of course, this field is responsive and we ha have also content with this is for the content, right? That now there's not a lot of content. So it doesn't really matter what we put inside, but if you had a couple of rows of text and you don't want them to go wide or too wide, you can change this field over here. In horizontal align, this means the horizontal alignment. So if I change it to flex start, it aligns it to the left and vertical align, you can change that to flex end. So that just pushes it down over here and the text alignment, we can also change to left this will also align our button. Now the content part over here, we can add padding for it. So if we want to start pushing it from the side, we can just add some padding. And now it's snapped to the bottom, to the left side, and the text is aligned to the left. Inside of title, we can adjust the color of the title, of course, the typography, if we want to make something bigger or smaller, for example, let's just make that bigger. And maybe a different font, maybe something a little bit bolder just to make it that interesting. And over here, we can change also the border. Right now there's a border. So let's just make our border bigger by pushing this value up. You can also choose different types of borders. For example, double looks interesting and you can change the spacing for this. Inside of text, we also have the spacing between the text and the title itself. So now I'm gonna push that up just so we have some more space over here. 
and I'm going to push up my uh, value of the size over here. So just push that up till we get something cool, looking good. And that's about it. The last thing is the button. So over here we can change the text colors of the button, the background colors of the button. When you're hovering or not hovering, you can unlink this value, for example, and make this a little bit bigger, for example, if you want some more padding from top, from the sides, from the left, from the right, looking good. And I think we got everything set up. Of course, everything has responsive fields, so you can adjust this depending on tablet or mobile or whatever you need. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I'm going to see you in the next video.